To the latest on the coronavirus outbreak, the number of people who have died in China is at least 425. The World Health Organization warning the outbreak could soon be large enough to be classified as a pandemic. At least 11 cases have been confirmed in the United States. And new this morning, local health care organizations are taking extra steps as the human coronavirus continues to cause concern. At American Family Care, they're starting a campaign that's educating the doctors and patients. CBS 42 News reporter Hillary Simon spoke to a local doctor, and Hillary, he tells you people are coming in kind of panic about this virus. Art, that's right. Dr. Benjamin Barlow at AFC says people are coming into their urgent cares worried if they have the human coronavirus. But Dr. Barlow tells me not only is the virus rare, but it can also be confusing. It's confusing because the human coronavirus is normally the common cold, but the novel coronavirus that the CDC is closely watching is a mutated version that started from animals and traveled to people that live in China. Dr. Barlow says the flu is actually more concerning than the coronavirus. Now the difference between the two viruses is the coronavirus tends to be more upper respiratory problems and the flu can be total body and muscle aches. So the coronavirus education campaign is just launched off and it's to educate everyone on the facts. If people can get revved up uh, when they watch the news and they're unsure about what's happening, we put protocols in place to screen these patients. So we see if they have a fever and if they've traveled to China or they've had contact with someone in China. And if they have, then we put them into a certain protocol to where we screen patients for the disease. And right now, the CDC has reported 11 positive cases of the novel coronavirus in the United States. 82 cases are still pending. Now, Dr. Barlow says that this is still a very fluid situation. So here locally, they're just closely following the CDC and their recommendation on what to do as a health care provider if they have a patient that meets the requirements. Art and Alyssa, back to you. All right, Hillary, thank you.